It's a sick individual. So, my wife uh, was telling me I was hard of hearing. And I, uh, I told her, well, there's just so much noise coming out, I, I can't hear what's being said. She got a little mad, I don't know why, but anyways, uh, she told me I need help, and then she took off. So, anyways, I called my buddy uh, Mel, v 3 Jan. He said, ah, you need, a, you need to get a beverage antenna. And uh, I don't know if a beverage antenna will help the situation, but let's, uh, I, let's talk about that. So, my house is over there, and the closest area I can put a beverage is in the bush going back and I'd have to run about a 300 foot coax I figure let's try something different and so there's uh, loop antennas and I think I'd like to try a loop antenna and I have what I think is pretty much the perfect place to try it and I can't find any information about other people who have done this so I'm gonna do it so here is some fencing I put up a couple years ago and we got the cattle fencing at the bottom and I got some rows of high tension um, wire. So those are tension, I don't know, I think they're 18 gauge steel wire and it goes completely around this loop and I built this so I know it's exactly 520 feet perimeter. 160 feet long this way and 100 feet long that way and it closes back on itself. And I figured, can I turn this top wire into a receive antenna, a horizontal loop? Now, one of the things is that none of the specs, when you look at a horizontal loop, uh, meet this criteria. First of all, we don't have the elevation. And uh, the other thing is that uh, we do have some other wires that are going to interact with it. And so I figured, let's try it. But this is a little bit further from the house than another paddock I have. So... Let's head over there and check out that paddock. Okay, so we're at the second paddock now. And uh, this one here is not square, but it does go back on itself. I'll show you guys a uh, image of what it, the layout is. Sorry for the noise, the boys are playing hockey behind me. Anyway, so on this fence, this is roughly four feet high, and we have this wire here that is used uh, with a shocker. Oops that is used with a shocker for the animals that we put in here. And I have no animals in here this winter, and this is a little bit closer to the house over there, and uh, I figure let's do this. So I'm gonna show you guys, this project has been going on for quite a few months. And so uh, I'll show you guys some of the stuff I did to get here. Now, so anyways, let's start with setting up the groundwork, running the coax, and any other things. I don't remember what I said in the video because that was, a few months ago. So, see you in a bit. Okay, is he on the uh, same one that I'm using, or is he on a uh, like a, a Yezu repeater? Okay, so here we are at the paddock, and you can see we go all the way down there. Here, that's my feed point, all the way around. A little bit of a zigzag there to the corner and then back across. Um, also tomorrow after uh, afternoon, uh, we'll, get some, uh, we'll get some sunshine and uh, things will warm up a little bit. It looks like it's going to be about 70 down here tomorrow. Um, okay, so we're on the other side now. You can see over there the gate that's where we were and we're all connected over there and we have another gate over here we're right by the road and you can see that the wire comes across from the other side and it's hooked up to this gate and it continues and this wire is spaced out it's supposed to be spaced out about five inches uh, we have these spacers here and the corners all have these so actually there's no there's no connection there's no fastening on the corners. It just loops through this. So if you tension, if you put a tensioner in line down there, it'll tension. It'll affect the wire over here. So it's it's a free 
I don't know if you use the word free floating or what, but it's a continuous wire. There's no uh, crimps in the corners or anything like that. And we go all the way around, all the way down there. I could do a beverage starting from here on this corner and just following the whole line down that way. Um, can go way back in the bush if I want to. We have these power lines here. These are just, uh, I don't think there are anything too big to be concerned about really. I, I had thought there was something to be concerned about because uh, it wasn't working and then I realized that I'm an idiot and it's because I had the wrong coax hooked up to the rig. So here, so like I was saying, this wire just loops through here on the corner and it's just free floating. Because when animals, they put their head, they get, you know, they push on this, it can get stretched a little bit. So you want to be able to put a turnbuckle in there, in line, and just tighten the whole area. So yeah, that's it. So I'll show you guys on the side of the house, there's a distribution panel. It's a coax distribution panel that I made. And uh, where I hooked into, you can see the tower there. Now, right now, I have it on the rig uh, connected to this end fed right here. That is an 80 to 10, my antennas.com end fed. And it goes to the tree up there. I could probably tighten this a little bit, get some of that sag out. Uh, I also have a G5 RV Junior. And then I have another end fed that I rebuilt, which I'm going to have a video on that in a bit. It's the MFJ 1982 MP. And that's going from about 40, 46 feet on a sloper that way see that fence over there is the fence that i want to have the actual permanent receive antenna on and that is uh just the high section is 100 feet deep by 160 feet wide and so that's a 520 feet if we want to find out what the loop antenna length of that like if it should technically theoretically be uh resonant on one frequency we would take we would have to rewrite the formula for a loop antenna, which is once again, length equals 1,005 1, divided by the frequency in megahertz. Rewrite it so we can reverse calculate it for 520 feet. Maybe we'll do that later. But the distribution panel is here. And you see all the coax going up the side of the house. And inside this box, I have this just kind of like this because the wire is coming out. So this is the wire that's coming from the paddock. And so this provides us some grounding to the shields or to the uh, shield of the cable, some RF grounding. And then this cable goes back into the house down there. So, and then these go all the way back to the house. So this wire wasn't disconnected. This, this one was not used. And I don't know how, but in the shack, I took this one and had it in comparison. Yeah, I feel like an idiot. But hey, that happens to the best of us. Let's head in the shack and let's uh, do some tests. All right, guys. I'm like halfway through this project. I've been trying to film it. Yeah, filming is not my priority. So here's where we're at. And so that leads me to today where I lost all the other footage, all of it. I drilled a hole right, uh, this is so weird, right there in the corner going to the basement where my shack is in the siding. I ran a RG213 out to here and this is really just a test right now. So um, the way I did it was very simple this so i have the center shield the center the center conductor going to uh the wire on this side and i just put a wire to the shielding across to that side and that was it um i'm gonna do another video with an antenna analyzer uh show you guys how they they are uh also some low noise amplifiers and uh maybe improving that connection there Maybe a choke, you know, Ape says choke it all. Um, 
yeah so that's pretty much it uh the test that i've been the audio i've been running through this is just an example on 80 meters uh i like to do some further testing i know on 40 meters it does have some results the reality is these types of antennas are more for the lower frequencies so 20 it's like garbage it doesn't do anything on it but for 80 160 for 40 it actually has some some pretty good results and uh stick around there's a couple little clips there but anyways guys sorry there wasn't more in depth the technical stuff uh this has really just been a you know take a shot in the dark and see if it works so stick around 73 all right hey welcome back to hey welcome back to another hey welcome back hey welcome back to hey welcome back welcome back to hey guys i'm building uh uh, for 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 the patients, uh, my dear, and uh, <laughs> not 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 easy. And uh, uh, I tell you, uh, Salvador, I'm getting a little tired here. Uh, getting a little tired now.